Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on in your connection. So we're going to have a look at what are this person's feelings. Oh, okay. Aquarius, clearly that looks like a cycle is over between you both here, okay? There's a cycle that's over between you both, a chapter's over and done, okay? Whatever this chapter was, it's like there was an ending here, okay? Now that ending was in a way where it does not have to be that there was an ending between you both completely but it could also mean that um, whatever lessons you both had to learn in this in that relationship in that cycle you both have learned your lessons okay and now you both are ready to move on to the next phase now it's up to you whether you both want to be together in the next phase or you want to go your own way okay so that's what i see the overall energy with the world here i feel that this person here is um um there's been, a, uh, there's been a cycle that's over between you both. With the Queen of Cups here, this person here right now is probably at a spot where they know that they have a lot of deep feelings for you. But at the same time out here, I feel that this person here is probably analyzing, deeply emotionally analyzing an offer that you could have made to them. So it's more like if you have asked, if you uh, propose them or if you've asked them to be in a commitment with you or if there's any kind of opportunity here, okay, that you've offered them to be with you on the same page. They're very deeply, constantly watching that offer, thinking about their offer, but they're not making any decision yet, okay? So yes, they do have a lot of deep emotions for you, a lot of love for you, okay? But they're using their intuition right now, okay, to make um, a choice, which is brings us to the next card, which is the two of wands here. Right now, this person is at a crossroads in their feelings, okay? They don't know what to do. It's like this way or that way, okay? This person has a choice out here. Uh, like they they need to know where they want to go right now, okay? But um, this is definitely a choice where um, it's, um, you know, it's like a split, okay? So now it's like this is where you got, this is, they, they made a decision about being with you. Now the decision is about what next? Okay, so there could be a new direction that they need to choose and that new direction could be either letting you go completely or being with you and completely committing to you. But right now in their feelings out here with the Empress here, I feel that this person um, probably uh, sees you as um, marriage material. Okay, they do see you as marriage material. They do have a lot of respect for you. Okay, uh, they see you as very, very abundant. Okay, maybe you've stopped chasing this person out here. Maybe you don't give a fuck to this person anymore. But you're being very attractive while not giving a fuck to them. <laughs> I'm going to clarify this for you. What's the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Care for the Empress. Is he long term with you? Why is the Empress here? Maybe some of you, you could have you could have been married to this person out here or this person is thinking about marrying you. Okay. What's the Empress here? What's the Empress here? See? 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 See how much attraction they have for you? They're so attracted to you. Oh my God. But they're trying their best to control their passion. They're controlling their feelings. Tempering that mad, oh, that mad crazy passion they have for you. Okay. And constantly thinking about the offer that you made to them. So I feel this person here is very passionate about you. A lot of sexual energy, a lot of attraction here. Uh, but they feel that probably there's a lot that they need to do. See how he's looking at her? He feels there's a lot to do, okay? Whether you're a he or a she, a lot to do to achieve this goal with you because you're the empress. You're badass. You got your shit together. You're abundant. No one can touch you. You know, you're unreachable. But yeah. That's what they feel about you. But that's why they're at a crossroads here. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay. As much as this person will want to reach out to you with a page of cups here, they're coming in with that lame ass apology, which probably is going to take some time because I do see the two of swords. So this person here in their intention is to reach out to you. They want to tell you how much they love you, but in a very subtle way, you know, like a very... Uh, like a very immature uh, communication, like very emotionally immature, like, hey, what's up, I miss you, you know, like more emotional, none of it is logical, but I feel it's going to take some time before they come in and do that, okay? With the six of wands, if this person wants to move forward with you, they want victory, they want success, they want attention, okay? They want your attention out here, so maybe you've just shut them off completely. Why? Because you're the empress, right? Which is why you're very abundant. You just let it go, let it flow. You're not chasing. So now with the six of wands, if this person wants their attention from you, they want that victory with you. They don't feel supported. They want to come in. They want to make this happen with you, okay? 
with the six of swords you this person could be a wanting to travel towards you if you are at long distance out here if you guys are not talking this person wants at least a communication reconciliation with you okay but with a very heavy heart it's more like uh they are leaving a situation that is not working out for them okay now this could be a situation with anyone does not have to be another partner it could just be probably their friends their family or someone who's stopping them from coming towards you or something which is uh, making them you know um which is restricting them resistance was there from their side they're no longer resisting it okay they're ready to change whatever they have to but with the two of swords here they won't make a choice they won't make a choice they know they know that if they make a choice they are the only ones who are going to be responsible for this choice and they are lacking accountability they're not trusting their intuition they'd rather trust their logic and the logic is telling them like shut it off shut your ears off shut your eyes off wear a blindfold and you know just cross your heart block your heart chakra and you don't have to do anything because the situation is going to go away on its own that's what they're telling themselves but hell to the fucking no is the situation going nowhere <laughs> it's going nowhere they want to reach out they want to reach out but it's going to it's this going to be some time before they do um ten of swords there could have been an ending here between you both okay this person could be here someone hosting their own pity party also So they do the wrong things to you and then they feel like oh my god they were back so betrayed and hurt what's the six of wands what's the six of wands here actually shouldn't need to clarify that but what's the six of wands here six of wands please what's the six of wands see they're holding back they want the success with you so bad i'm getting someone who is absolutely egoistic right now over inflated ego both of you could be having the ego but this person more because in their intentions here that's a lot of pride and ego here what's the two of swords here why won't they make a choice why won't they make a choice they're sitting there nicely in their ego what's the two of swords here two of swords they don't want to address the elephant in the room they don't want to be responsible for making a choice because both the choices that they have right could lead to very stressful outcomes and they don't want to be responsible what's the two of swords here yeah see like i said This person wants to come back towards you. They want to reconcile. They want to reach out to you. But but the problem here is with the nine of wands here. They're too 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 guarded, too defensive. They're being very very careful. They're watching you from a distance, keeping an eye on you here. Okay, but they're very doubtful about the situation. Doubtful probably because they don't know if you make if you're going to be okay to make it work out with them. Doubtful because they don't know if uh, you're going to forgive them. Doubtful because they don't know if it's going to be successful between you both here. A lot of doubt. A lot of doubt. A lot of doubt. Okay, so that's in their intention. So it's going to take some time before this person reaches out. All right, let's see. Yeah, there will be communication. There will be communication here. Something valuable, you know, Aquarius. I feel this person here is very sneaky. Okay, this person is very cunning here. Okay, uh, this person has clarity. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. They have clarity here. Now, whatever it is, right? There is going to be some kind of truth revealed eventually. Okay, this is someone who is probably more like rushing in to talk to you. Whatever they're rushing in to talk to you is going to bring in a lot of abundance here. So there is communication here about abundance, probably like more like a happily ever after here. This person sneaky, okay. They're very crafty, but I don't feel that their intentions are bad. That's just how they are. They're just very careful, right? Because we so many we the we see the nine of wands here a lot of times, which is someone yeah who's being very careful, you know, very sure about what they want, okay, and uh, trying to have a different approach towards this connection here. But yes, there will be communication here. Why? Because there is clarity here. This person, there's going to be some truth that is going to be revealed here. Yeah, communication. There is going to be some communication here where you're going to get some kind of information, which is going to make you very, very happy. Or there is going to be some situation that is going to be revealed where uh, everything was under wraps. Now this could be no communication, okay? Where there's a breakthrough between you both. But there is a breakthrough here, and uh, whatever this person has to offer to you, this offer is going to lead to a lot of abundance between you both. So that's what I have for you, Chris. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.